FCK Review is back. So, hi guys! Uh, as you can see, I have my Snipe One SN in my hands. Why? Because as I said just a few seconds ago, FCK Review is back, but it was never gone. So, anyway, it doesn't matter. But, what I can tell you is, today we are starting a new type of video, uh, which will come hopefully all weeks. Uh, one times a week, so um, it's pro tips. So this new topic uh, will be about all the things I think about and um, I try to improve uh, by myself to be the best as possible. So it will be every week one tip. So today it's about the minimum sync rate. I will talk ne uh, next time about the snap flap or how to set your minimum drag settings for get an optimized launch or to get the perfect preset uh, or to get all these things so it will be hopefully as i said one video a week and today as i said already we'll talk about minimum sync rate so why i say all the time be careful minimum sync rate is really different to thermal mode uh, because uh, it's different on many of my glider I have less flap in minimum sync rate than in maximum thermal. Be why? Uh, because in maximum thermal uh, you work at higher incidence, so maybe it's too much technical, but anyway I say it. Um, and uh, you need more flaps to get the good amount of lift. So that's it, and drag less too. So, um, but it doesn't matter in this video, we will we'll not be too much technical. So, uh, I turn on my snipe and I show you what's happened. So, sorry about the sound of the radio, you know, the, the wave, uh, the microwave, are the 2.4 is uh, parasiting the sound of the microphone. So, I'm sorry about that, when I will come closer, we'll make some noise. So sorry about that already. So there is my speed mode. So sorry I can't I can't get better than this. Speed mode, okay. Normal mode. Minimum sync rate. So minimum sync rate is about four millimeters flap down. Okay. And if I do my full flaps setting, it's around six millimeters flap down. So it's for thermal. Okay? This is for thermal. And sorry, this is my air brakes. This is my minimum sync rate. So as you can tell, it's not the same thing. So it's two millimeters more flaps uh, for my maximum thermal. But as I said, uh, it's because um, when you are in minimum sync rate, you are not turning. You are only flying. Uh, you try to save as much as you can of energy, so yeah, it's it's a bit difficult to fly with a lot of flap when you try to save the energy. So uh, in thermal, what you try to find is oh, I can climb as much as I can and not slow down too much. All this thing, and the main difference between. Um, the minimum sync rate and the thermal mode. My thermal mode is on slider, so it don't affect my uh, elevator at all because I think it's a waste of time because you are thermaling and you play with your elevator all the time. So why? <laughs> and my minimum sync rate, you don't play with the elevator because you just try to float as much as you can so you don't touch at any um, inputs so your elevator needs to be trimmed as perfect as possible so this is why uh, these modes are so different so in minimum sync rate uh, it's your the attitude of the glider need to be really not the same uh, as in cruise in cruise your glider need to be flat so just 
uh, take your tail boom as reference and if your glider is flat it's all good but in minimum sink rate if your glider is flat it's not good your glider needs to be a bit tail down okay but not that much if it's like this uh, I exaggerate but if it's too much on the tail it will decrease the speed too much and <coughs> and you will sink faster if it's too much nose down a bit tail up you will increase your sink rate too so you need to find the sweet spot and this is only with your stopwatch um, you need to launch all the time at the same altitude and then you will find the good settings so play with the flaps play with the elevator and you will see when you reach the good speed and the good amount of elevator so flaps and elevator you will see it will be all good so now I stopped to rumble all these things that's it for the theory and now let's go to the practical so let's switch to GoPro so here I am to launch and uh, as you can see it's pretty tight uh, it's what she said but uh, <laughs> no doesn't matter so um, I will launch and uh, at 10 to 15 meters and uh, you will see I will firstly uh, do a pass right there in uh, thermal mode so with my slider and then uh, in minimum sink rate and you will see the main difference is the attitude of the glider so I don't want to throw too hard because as you can see some A, some thing like this, some bushes so and I don't like to do that because I I was planning to do this early this morning at, it's already a bit late so I go down and thermals are good so now I'm in thermal so as you can tell uh, the fuselage is moving a lot uh, tail up tail down nose up nose down as you want and so yes in sync it sinks faster if you have flaps but anyway um, it's not the best moment to do this but I think it's really relevant of what it's, is happening with the amount of flap and the attitude of the glider so and I launch straight into the thermal <coughs> So yeah, it could be interesting too to show you all thermal glider with minimum sink rate or um, thermal flaps. So I come back. So I will try to focus on what I can do. So no, I will just pass straight. This is in thermal. <coughs> Sorry, this is in thermal mode. So it's not wiggling too much but a bit it's really less stable than uh, in uh, minimum sink rate i will show you that right now and the uh, oak was just there and now it's way 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 up there <laughs> it's crazy how fast it goes so now i will do it in minimum sink rate so you will see the difference So I'm still in normal mode, now I'm in minimum sink rate. So as you can see already the nose go up and the tail go down, okay, a lot and it slowed down a lot the glider and it fall out of the sky. Why it fall out of the sky? Because as I said this uh, mode is really not suited for active air. If you are in sync, in minimum sink rate you will sink so fast that you will not understand what's happening so because um, when you are in minimum sink rate you're like this your airfoil and the attitude of the glider is uh, optimized to maximize uh, the air around the glider so it make if it sink you will sink really fast if it's good air you will climb really fast or sink really slow okay but most of time you will use it in no thermal so you will sink as slow as possible okay so 
one more time. <clears throat> and you will see when you have set your minimum sink rate, your glider should fly like this. Like this, in, I'm in around uh, not that much good. Yeah, this is thermal, okay. And you will see when I it sink how fast it will go down. You you see that? It stay in his good attitude, but it goes down really fast because oh that was close. Uh, because uh, the glider uh, don't want to, it will not stall as easy as in thermal mode. But uh, yeah, doesn't matter. Let's go ahead for the conclusion on the big camera. So guys, uh, yeah, I think. I show you why you shouldn't use the, the minimum sink rate in that kind of weather because uh, this weather is not at all made for minimum sink rate. You should uh, fly a bit faster and look for thermals, climb as much as you can in the thermal and it's not flat at all. Minimum sink rate mode is really uh, made for uh, the moment in the night or in the morning when you have nothing 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 in the air just flat dead air this is the mode to go when you are in this kind of weather so um, but but anyway uh, as you have seen uh, the glider when it's in minimum sink rate is really on the tail and uh, this is what makes the minimum sink rate really efficient in dead air because the glider will just fly slow and just locked in his position and be really stable and this is what you should look for when you set your minimum sink rate and uh, I think because I did a video about minimum sink rate today and compared it to the thermal mode uh, one of my next video will be about thermal mode and how to set it one really important thing is the, the minimum sink rate is really independent of um, the snap flap but uh, the thermal mode really depends of your snap flap too so and the snap flap depends of your thermal mode so it's really mixed and uh, dependent of each other so I will explain that in a video really soon so videos about FPV will continue uh, but FCK review will come back more often, so you will get it. You will get all, at minimum one video a week about F3K. And the guy told me in the next week or two weeks all the grass will be cut, so it will be perfect to make a new launch video uh, when I just film and talk about it uh, after it. So. You will see, it. I think it will be way better. I will try to do some drone shot about my launch. Hope to not destroy my glider and my drone. So, um, yeah. So, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you for to all the subscribers. And uh, see you in my next video. Bye.